Hi yeah, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have another what's in my basket video for you. I did one a little while back and I wasn't sure whether you guys would like it but I had some positive feedback and requests for more and so this one is at Simon Says Stamp. Now just to say that the what's in my basket videos I do are not things that I'm actually going to sit down and buy all the items that are in my basket. It's almost like a wish list and then you know I may well go through and save some of the items to an actual wish list on the website and others I may purchase but for this video and other videos like it as I say these are just items that I really sort of thought were really nice and again obviously in that regard it's not every item that I thought was really nice in the store because that would make the what's in the basket video like six hours long because there's always loads of craft stuff I want to buy and I want it now. <laughs> so anyway, let's go cracking on to my basket over here at Simon Says Stamp. Okay, so there's already an out of stock item there that I'd need to remove, which is actually one of the things I really did want to buy. But anyway, I think they still do it in separate, so if it's still out of stock, I should be okay. But anyway, just first of all, a quick little peek down the entire list. So there's 20 things in the basket. I thought I would limit it to that number. And I've got a selection of things from stamps, um, sets, of stamps and dies, uh, dies on their own, stencils, paper, card, ink, um, etc. So there's a big different selection of things in the basket. So hopefully there's something for everybody out there that you might like. Okay, so going to the first item, we've got our Simon Says Stamp Die and Stamp Set, Love Makes the Home Set. And I just really like this. I like um, that it's a, I do love dies and stamp sets that match. Now I know that some people don't like that and they think, well, you know, it's just almost a waste to buy them. You could stamp it out and you could use your pick scan mat or you could cut it by hand, etc. But I don't know, I just can't resist a set like this. And I really like this new home set. Um, and they've got some nice sentiments on there as well. So it's just one of those ones that I particularly liked. And then the next thing that I have here is this die set. Now I've got the mum, which is the, oh, it's tiny, um, which is the, uh, English version spelling which comes as a separate die I've already got that in fact I actually bought it twice which is rather annoying anyway so I've got that um, but I thought it would be really cool to have the rest of the set it's a really nice die the one I've got and the font is really nice it's a really good size and when I go to craft fairs and things or even not but particularly for that it's really useful to have the ability to cut this out i use stickers and things now if if they want me to add something but i think it would be really nice to be able to add something that's even more finished and perhaps it matches even better to the card that uh, they're purchasing and even as i say not at a craft fair i just think it's really nice having these particular words and family sets i just think that's really nice so that was something i really liked and then we get to this bokeh or boca, I don't know how you say it, um, die, uh, stencil set. Now, I just really like this. And when you, you see there, when it's used, really f looks so effective. And I just think anything bubbles and bubbly is just so nice. And, and I think, look there, it's useful like for even within like backgrounds and stuff. Or as you can see here, a card on its own. I just think that's so cute and then having the whoops having the um sequins or anything added on top i just think looks that card just looks stunning i really like it so i'm a bit sad that it's out of stock but as i say i think that they do these all individually so that's not going to be a problem if i'm too impatient to wait then i came across these two stamps which i think are fairly new i haven't seen them before unless they're just being featured but again i just thought it's one of these really useful large stamps i just love and you can literally just lay the stamp on the table and and put the paper onto it once you've inked rather than trying to lift it up so it's a really easy stamp to stamp as well actually they always look more complicated than they are i think and look at that you get some oops you get a really good effect and there you've got it in the background and so there's some really nice examples here 
I love that. So uh, I thought that was a really nice stamp and it's quite a nice size. And then we've got the same sort of thing, but in an alphabet, which I thought was really cool. So, and I love that. I really want a rainbow ink like that. And I don't know what one it is. I can't think of the name of the people that do these fabulous big pads with rainbow ink. So if anybody knows, please let me know. Please, please, pretty please. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So you've got, again, some really nice examples. And I just think, actually, if you did it really light, well, like that, you can see, oh, she's, it's got a really light background. So it just makes a really nice background piece or something stronger. And then this particular die I've been eyeing up for ages. I don't know what it is. I guess it's that bubble thing again. I hadn't even actually realised till this very second. I guess it's just a really appealing shape to me, a circle. And actually squares and circles I find I really like. And I just love the way that it's used. I just think it looks amazing. And these so many actually different looks with a die that you would think well what would I do with it um and then I've put some sequins here now I do a lot of embellishments for my own but I am um, and if you I haven't got them all on my site yet they are coming it's just taking time it's kind of one of those things where you know because I'm trying to keep the site going with regards to all the posts um I don't get the opportunity to do all the stuff that got put behind because of my mum's illness and meaning that I wasn't able to work on the site before it went up and get everything completed but this was just a, a particular uh, sequence that I really liked and I hadn't seen I don't actually do sequins I do flat shapes with holes in and stuff like that so they're similar but they're not exactly the same and um, so I just really liked these I thought they were sparkly and fun and I'd got the gold and silver came in the kit that I got one time from Simus' stamp and they were really really nice so I just thought I'd add those in. Okay and then some cardstock. I just love colour and this cardstock is really nice. I got sent a whole batch. It may well have even been this particular pack because it does look like it from Simon Says Stamp when I joined their affiliate program so they sent me this and some stamps and it is really nice cardstock I find it really hard to find cardstock that is of a good weight so that you can use it for a card base in color I'm talking about obviously white and cream and stuff is not a problem even black but colored cardstock to find it in a decent weight that you can actually make a card onto and you guys know i like to put a lot of stuff on the front of a card so it needs to be heavy even if i put some bits on the inside it needs to have that strength and also i personally don't like a card that's made from cardstock that isn't that heavy because I think it just makes the whole feel of the card cheap and I don't like that that's just a kind of personal peeve I guess so I love the color of this I personally use this so and I love the weight and how it cuts and colors uh, cuts and colors cuts and scores yeah I really like that it's one of my favorites so I definitely want to put some more so I added that in my basket now this is one of the Simon Says stamps stencils and I've had a number of their stencils not this particular design and um, they are really really nice quality I like making my own stencils actually from my Cricut and my silhouette etc and I cut them out either in sort of stencil material or even just on card and then you can throw it away um, you don't have to keep it but it's it's still nice when you buy your, somebody else's and they've done the design and they've done the hard work and I thought this was again a I guess it's the squares this time isn't it it's just I thought a really useful shape that you could use in the background just to add a little interest like you saw on that card there then the next couple I'll just jump down to this one here as well I put a couple of ink colors I've got some stamps it did require some shading and I just thought these three looked like they would really shade up beautifully and I just thought they were such pretty colour. I'm not a massive purple fan actually but I really liked this and I just thought it was a really nice combination. Um, I'll just pop in it a little bit better for you. So you can see there it's, oh, I know it sounds crazy but I really like the lid <laughs> so it just kind of helps. I don't like it when they look all 
boring I like pretty things I like to look at the nice things so having those swirls and things it's really nice to have it in front of you so those were the three inks that's why I put those in so um I just had a set of stamps in the middle for some reason so then um we'll go to those stamps this is a kind of um sort of make your own sort of design sort of stamp so you've got all the different elements and you can stamp it however you want it so you can combine all those elements in any different way that you want so you've got your different cake stand there and you could put all different cupcakes and you've got all the different layers and sprinkles and candles and stuff you've got your another cake stand there and then you've got different layers of cake so you could have a small cake um, on its own or you could have a big cake on its own or whatever and then you could do different tiers of cake you've got different bits to put in the middle you've got these bits here to wrap around it so it looks like it's got different designs and patterns on it same with this here I guess and you've got some sentiments look you've even got a little cherry so you've got so many different things that you can do with that and again I'm not normally kind of a, a cake a cupcake type person for cards I really think that's been done to death but I really thought this was a fun stamp set so I really liked that and here's an example of a card that someone's made so you can see how it got put together and it looks really cool and she's just done one single layer so that I thought was a fun stamp set to put in okay so the next thing where am I I'm here oh I just love this again look I've gone for the combination of stamps and dies couldn't resist and I think this would be great fun for cutting out as well you'd really get some good elements and again it's another one of these put it together in your own way and I love that in stamp sets it, even more when they give you all these options and you can combine things exactly as you want them and make your own design it just kind of really is almost limitless not literally but it just makes it so fun and they're so cute little fishes and look you've got best fishes you're fantastic thank you so you've got some really cute sentiments there as well so i like that and obviously the dyes there's loads in there and they you know they're really even the tiny bits so you've got some really good options options there as well so I'm I like that okay and then I just saw this and I thought I'm not sure whether I'd buy this or not I kind of think it actually I probably would because I kept thinking well I could do that myself I could draw it and cut it out or I could just do it on my Cricut but I don't know it's something about having a die and just putting it through the machine and getting a cloud and also you could create templates with this I mean how fun would that be that you could then you know create your own template with it I just thought I don't know I think I probably couldn't resist now this is kind of the latest thing that's out at the moment is this mink machine well a lot of you know that I have had my foiling machine which is pretty much a mink the way it seems to operate is pretty much the same so if you want to know about my foiling machine what I'll do is I'll add the video that I did that shows you all about my foiling machine and how it works to the blog post that goes with this video so that if you want to see it you can but that aside I just thought this was really cute because this would go through my machine almost certainly and I like the idea of it being ready made that said I probably wouldn't buy this because I think for that I could really do this myself on my computer but if you're not particularly computer savvy or you, you know or you're not got a computer so therefore you want to use the foiling machine but you can't do the designs of your own then I think this is a really cool idea and I like it um, but as I said I probably would use it to make my own versions of this rather than actually buying it so I liked that and then I've got a couple of packs of paper in here I love Kaiser Craft I really do and I thought this was a really nice this is six and a half inch pad and I thought this looks like this is going to be some really pretty paper look at that beautiful roses actually do you know I'm wondering if that might be peonies it, it looks a real full, full bloom like a peony but I don't know and I just love the color combination you guys know I love my aqua obviously because that's the sight color and the pink I think looks gorgeous with it so you, you probably realize I would find it hard to resist this paper pack 
and uh, then I put another one in which is bow bunny and again I didn't realize actually because when you're going through them you're just putting them in but I didn't realize it was the same colors in a way it's look your aquas and pinks so you just tend to find you go for the same things and gravitate towards them without even realizing and it's kind of um that kind of vintagey feel as well which is something I really like I'm a pretty old-fashioned kind of girl even though I'm not that old <laughs> I'm old-fashioned and I just think that's really pretty again with the beautiful colors and patterns and that's your Madeleine collection and then the last thing on my list um, is this gorgeous art impression stamp I do love art impressions I ha to be honest I couldn't pick a stamp I put several in the basket for this video and to be honest because it was got up to quite a few I deleted them on the basis that I would show you this one and say but take a look at them all they're stunning they're so fun and funky I love the fact that you've got the backs and the fronts and then they've got the trifold ones and there's all sorts of fun so definitely go into um, here and have a look at all art impressions so that is it that is my what's in my basket video for today so I hope you've enjoyed having a little look at this if you want to see the links to the products then they will be below this video or you can hop on over to the corresponding blog post which I'll also put a link to below this video so I hope you've enjoyed having a look at what's in my basket and I will see you again soon thanks so much for watching bye <music>